you're not on as rigid a schedule as you were at the hospital, but you must do as the nurse tells you. Well, I hope this time you've got a nurse who knows how to mix a good martini. <laughs> you behave yourself, young lady, and just relax. In the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be looking for you. I'll see the doctor out. I'm so glad you made her come home, doctor. Marsha, you're going to have to take very good care of her. The condition's very serious, more serious than the last time. But she will be all right. Good morning, Tom. Marsha, how's Valerie? Resting. I'll bet she's glad to be home again, eh? May I go up? No, she shouldn't be disturbed. She's not exactly over it. I was about to tell Marsha, Jim. She hasn't very much longer to live. No. What are you saying? Matter of months, perhaps a year. But it, it, it can't be. It can't. Heart trouble. But she's so young. Why, only last week. She was well, gay, shopping, planning a party. Her party days are over. She'll have to give up her social life with her high living friends. Not keep late hours. She should get away from here and rest. Does she know? Well, I believe she should be told. Jim, I usually leave decisions like this up to the family. But Valerie hasn't a relative in the world. What do you think, Marsha? I'm only her secretary companion, aren't you? True. But ever since her husband's death, you've been like a sister to her. I don't think she should be told. I, the very thought of... What happens to all the enterprises? It's not that I'm unfeeling, but I'm chairman of the board. She hasn't even made a will. Do you realize what this will mean downtown? Confusion, even a panic. Oh, business isn't important now. Marsha's right, Jim. We can't tell her. And Mr. Bancroft left everything so orderly. Now he's entitled to every bit of happiness that she can have right now, in whatever time she has left. Well, I understand, but why can't I see any of my friends, have any fun? Am I in prison, or do I have a contagious disease or something? Well, if you do, it's very becoming. Uh-oh, here we go again. Hello? No, Alec, you can't come. No, no parties. No, not even for a moment. Goodbye. Marsha, how can you be so mean to the boy? Hello? No, she can't come to the phone right now. Let's get to the point. When and where are you going away for a rest? Well, as long as we're going, we might as well go immediately. That decides the when. Now, uh, all we've got to do is decide the where. No. No, but I'll tell her. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, I promise. Goodbye. Hmm, it's a gift from Bill. Oh. Who was it, Marcia? Harry Robbins. Harry Robbins, I thought he went to California. Well, he did, but he came back. He couldn't stand the sunshine. California. Sunshine. Well, how about California? Oh, that's fine. I never did see enough of California. Just breeze through on my honeymoon. Very good. And you know, I have a friend in Los Angeles, a Dr. Peter Kirk. He was a student of mine. You'll find him. Yeah, a doctor. Well, yes, I'll let him know that you're coming. And so he can keep an eye on me? Exactly. Oh. And by the way, don't let any of your friends know where you're going. 